The Big 12 Conference is the best college men's basketball league in the country. And if anybody tells you differently, they simply just aren't watching this conference on a nightly basis. In today's video, I'll give you my power rankings for the week of January 17th and also discuss the possibility of the Big 12 having 10 plus tournament bids for March Madness here in just a couple of months. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you want more Big 12 videos here on the channel, we are a predominantly Texas Tech men's basketball YouTube channel. But once a week, maybe even twice a week, we'll talk the really overview of the Big 12 men's basketball conference and give you the latest power rankings, news, updates, whatever it may be. So if you want more videos like that, be sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, turn on that notification bell. All right, before we get into my power rankings for this week, and I want to say these power rankings will change what feels like every second, every minute, every hour with how competitive this conference is. But I want to hear from you guys. How many Big 12 teams will make the NCAA tournament? Just let me know. This will be the pinned comment down below. Just let me know if you think it's going to be nine teams, 10, maybe 11. Just let me know down in the pinned comment below how many Big 12 teams you think make March Madness this season. All right, let's start with 14 to 10 on this. Oklahoma State and West Virginia are at the bottom of the Big 12 right now. I don't think that that needs much explanation. Kind of sucks for West Virginia. They did a great job in the portal, and then the Bob Huggins stuff happened, and this, that, and the other, but they come in in the bottom two for me. Then I've got UCF at 12. You want to know how crazy this conference is and how hard it is to win a road game in the Big 12? Look at UCF. A top five Kansas Jayhawks team, a team that was actually favored to win the national championship by some sports books, lost to the team that was picked to finish bottom two in the conference this year out in Orlando. Just this conference is absolutely nuts. All right. And then at 11, this is kind of where the bubble starts for me. And it's the Texas Longhorns. And I know some people are going to be like, RC, you're a Texas Tech guy. Look at the stuff in the background. You got Patrick Mahomes, the helmet. You even got your... A uh, diploma there from Texas Tech in the background. Listen, this is not hateful towards Texas at all. I think that this team is actually solid, but here's the issue. The Big 12 is so good, and the lapses that Texas has on its roster are going to be amplified night in and night out, specifically on the road. At home, they have to defend home court, which they struggled to do to start conference play against Texas Tech. But this is going to be a bubble team all year long, if not one of those last four out, you know, the next four out type teams. That's where I think Texas is. Now, Cincinnati just had a huge upset against TCU up there at home. Again, it is hard as hell to win on the road in the Big 12. I really like what Wes Miller is doing. And right now I have them at 10. I think there's a realistic chance that three of the four newcomers this year to the Big 12 make the NCAA tournament. And I think Cincinnati may sneak their way in there and maybe play at Dayton, which could be a, you know, just down the road home type game for the Bearcats in March. Next up, we have Oklahoma, a top 25 team at ninth. There you go. Just crazy how deep this league is. Um, and that's where we're going to move to right now, as I just realized that I didn't have that at the bottom of your screen for you. But we've got five through nine here starting with the Sooners, top 25 team in the country, and I have them at nine. It's wild to me. Then you've got Jerome Tang. He was in the thumbnail there. They also had an upset win, um, did the Wildcats in overtime against, well, one of his former clubs in the Baylor Bears. Um, but, I mean, it, this team is led by three guys, right? Arthur Kaluma had a great opportunity at a four-point play capitalized on it. You got Perry and you got Carter as well. And not to mention, they're going to be one of the best coach teams in the country, not just the big 12 with Jerome Tang leading the way. You got the Iowa State Cyclones, who at the time of this recording just lost to BYU out in Provo. But I like TJO's squad quite a bit. They've got some legit pro talent at a young level and probably the freshman of the year, maybe in the big 12 up for a debate. It depends on who you think is going to win that maybe Baylor They've got a guard down there. We'll talk about him in just a second, or maybe one of the Iowa State guys as well. At number six, I've got the TCU Horn Frogs. I actually flipped this in my rankings at number five, who is BYU because of BYU's win over Iowa State, albeit at home. TCU actually lost to Cincinnati and West Miller's crew 
um, just last night at the time of this recording. And it's crazy to me because realistically looking at this, from really about nine to one, you can put about seven or eight of those teams in any order, damn near. And I'd be like, yeah, I could see that. I really could. The Big 12 is just absolutely loaded right now in terms of teams. And, I, and I've had a couple of people say, well, RC, six of them will get bounced in the first round. There is no better conference to prepare you for March Madness than the Big 12. Just go look at how many teams consecutively have played in the Final Four for, for well, this conference. I mean, it, it's crazy the amount of teams that have played. You think about it going all the way back to 2019, you had Texas Tech, you had Baylor. Um, just so many teams. Kansas obviously winning the title as well as Baylor too. I mean, it, there's so many Big 12 teams that have deep tournament runs. And I truly think this year it could be the same. And you're not going to be more prepared than you are for any other conference in America to play in March than the Big 12. One more time, a reminder to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay in the know on Big 12 basketball all year long. Again, this is a predominantly Texas Tech YouTube channel, but we're going to mix in some Big 12 men's basketball videos, including power rankings each and every week, the latest news. And once March Madness gets here, we'll break down each every region, including each and every Big 12 team's potential to make it to the Final Four. So if you want to stay in the know on well, Big 12 men's basketball all year long. Hit that subscribe button and most importantly, turn on that notification bell. All right, let's get to the top four. I've got the Houston Cougars as it stands right now. There is a matchup um, taking place between two top four teams that I have listed um, Wednesday night down in H-Town. But I've got the Houston Cougars at the four spot. You've got the fifth ranked team, according to the AP poll, at number four. That tells you how crazy this conference is. Baylor, again, they lost, but I really like Scott Drew's team. I just always do. Um, they just always seem to have terrific guard play, and this year is no different. Now, I think the biggest qualm people will have, and probably people will call me biased right now, is Texas Tech at number two. They are the lone unbeaten team in conference play at the time of this recording. Again, Texas Tech, number 25 Texas Tech plays at number five, Houston, on Wednesday night. This video came out before that game. Texas Tech, again, lone unbeaten in the Big 12 right now in conference play. Texas Tech ranks, this is where they rank in the Big 12, I should say. First in field goal percentage, second in points per game, fifth in points uh, allowed per game, tied for second in margin of victory, tops in turnover margin, and second in assist to turnover ratio. And oh, by the way, before their game against Kansas State, as a team, they were shooting 42% from three. Brent McCasson's got this team rolling right now in Lubbock. And now, again, what did I say earlier in this video about the Big 12? It is hard as hell to win on the road. And I actually picked against Texas Tech when it came to the Houston game. That said, though, Texas Tech is in a really good position to make the NCAA tournament. And right now, it would be completely unfair to me um, to not put them in the top two from the standpoint of, again, they are the lone unbeaten team in Big 12 conference play. They got to be in the top two right now. And at number one, you see it down on your screen right there. It is the Kansas Jayhawks. I get it. They lost at UCF, but they have the best home court advantage of anybody, I think, maybe in college basketball. If not the best, it's top two um, at Allen Fieldhouse. They seem to always get a call or two, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, I put them at number one, that UCF loss. Again, it's just hard to win in the Big 12 on the road. And these rankings are fluid. I want to put that down there. I'll update them weekly on the channel. If you ask me today, though, this week, I truly believe the Big 12 is a 10 to 11 team bid league for the NCAA tournament. I think Texas is kind of that fringe spot. I really like Cincinnati in terms of what they're doing, not only on the court, but off the court in terms of recruiting. Um, so I think that that's kind of the line right there. And it would not shock me at all if you see double digit teams make the NCAA tournament from the Big 12, because this right now is arguably the best this conference has ever been. And that's saying something because the Big 12 has been the best men's basketball conference for what, at least a decade, if not more. Um, and they're really just adding to the resume this year in terms of how good it is with these four new teams involved. And I think three of them most likely make the NCAA tournament. 
All right, you tell me who do I have too high, who do I have too low in my uh, Big 12 men basketball power rankings for this week. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure there's going to be some people saying, again, you're biased on the Texas Tech front, but it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments below. And again, I'll have a video out next week updating these power rankings. And as I mentioned, it would not shock me at all if I move Texas Tech. If they lose two games, they go all the way to seven, right? That's how fluid things are in this league. It is absolutely loaded um, and arguably the best it's ever been. But one more time, tell me on the pinned comment, how many Big 12 teams you think the, make the NCAA tournament? One more time. Make sure I get the whole sentence out this time. How many Big 12 teams will make the NCAA tournament in the 2023-2024 season? Let me know down on the pinned comment down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay in the know on all Big 12 men's basketball news all year long. And join the most engaging Texas Tech and largest Texas Tech community here on YouTube in the Back to 12 podcast channel.